On the evening of Wednesday, July 20th, Palazzo de Bacci in Orient Township hosted the opening ceremony for the 2022 International Invitational Bocce Tournament. 20 players representing 10 countries were introduced to the crowd and the media in attendance, and each team was escorted by members of the Power Company Kids Club in Pontiac. Putting an event like this together, having 10 countries come from afar, safe and sound, was a task in itself, so we are thrilled they're here. We went through an invitation process. We wanted to pick the best players from afar to be here for a very fierce competition applying international rules, which is a little different than most people come here to Plaza and want to play socially. These players here are the best of the best, and they all are wanting to win our grand prize, which I don't even know if I mentioned, it's $10,000 for the first place prize. The facility last hosted an event like this in 2018. Then, like most businesses, they were forced to close their doors in 2020 due to the pandemic. Organizers celebrated the return of the tournament with 75 games taking place over three days. When you create a tournament, these people come afar. They don't want to get play a couple games and get knocked out. They want to have fun, but they also want to have an opportunity, many opportunities to stay in it. So that's why there's so many games. That's why we did the division set up a certain way. So they're going to go home and say we played a lot of bocce. Among the sponsors who helped make this tournament possible was Oakland County. Several representatives of the county attended the opening ceremony. First of all, we are in this incredible facility, an international bocce tournament to be able to take place for people all over Oakland County to celebrate. It is being talked about around the globe. This is an opportunity, I mean, to promote tourism, to promote, I mean, support our local businesses, and as well as like, support this incredible sport. It means that Oakland County's on the map. I mean, we have the best bocce players from 10 countries around the world coming to Orion Township in Oakland County for this tournament. And we're getting exposure all over the world for all the great things that we have, including Palazzo de Bacci. So excited. This area really needs this kind of an event. We're very grateful to Commissioner Ginjal for making this happen, and Commissioner Woodward and the whole Board of Commissioners. A very exciting time. Over the next several days, the teams competed in the round-robin style tournament, with each team playing every team in a doubles round and two singles. Six teams qualified to advance to the quarterfinals on Saturday. Austria, Canada, Chile, Italy, San Marino, and the United States, with four teams reaching the semifinals. After a day of fierce competition, it was Team Italy, made up of Emiliano Benedetti and Alfonso Nani, and Team San Marino, made up of Jacopo Frizzoni and Enrico Dallolmo, facing off in the finals. In the doubles round, Italy jumped out to a 3-0 lead early on, but San Marino came back to tie it at six apiece. The teams were tied at 12 late, but San Marino moved out to a 14-12 lead. Italy had a chance to steal a point, but a bad bounce gave San Marino the point and the win. Moving on to the singles round, San Marino needed only one win to claim the tournament. With both singles taking place simultaneously on neighboring courts, Italy's Emiliano Benedetti shut out Enrico Dallomo 15-0. The tournament would come down to the battle between Alfonso Nani and Jacopo Frizzoni. San Marino got on the board first, but Italy would jump out to a 5-1 lead. Frizzoni came back to tie it at 5 each, then took an 8-5 lead before Nani began his comeback. With Italy regaining a 14-10 lead, let's take a look at the final moment. So if he can make it with this point, he's in great shape to possibly win this game and match and final. Looks like a good ball from this angle, it looks like a fantastic ball. Yes. Wow, what a ball. And it's not Bertaglio, so he has to declare. He has can only shoot one thing, so he has called the Polino. Here it is. If he misses, it's game. Or if the Polino goes into a weird spot, it's game. So, uh, here he goes. He shoots. He missed. It's game. Italy comes back. A fantastic game against San Marino. 15-10.
couldn't ask for better matches here. San Marino wins the very first game of the doubles and Italy comes back winning two in a row. And with that, Italy claimed the title at the 2022 tournament as well as the $10,000 grand prize. San Marino finished second, earning a $6,000 payday. Team USA finished third and Chile fourth, netting $2,000 each. And Canada and Austria finished fifth and sixth respectively, earning $1,000 each. You can view the exciting action on YouTube. Visit palazzodebacci.com for the link. In Orient Township, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News.